Hello and welcome to a quick review of the FYG3 gimbal. There are a couple of features that make this gimbal stand apart from the crowd. It's got large motors, lots of torque, it's fairly lightweight, construction quality is good, and it can be mounted on both aircraft and multi-rotors. Inside you'll find a brief instruction set, the top and bottom half of the gimbal plates. Top marks to Futec on packaging quality, they've done a good job. I'd also ordered an extra set of rubber dampers. Normally you just get four. And here's the gimbal itself. The machining quality on this thing is excellent. The control board is built into the pitch motor and that's the bit that holds your GoPro on. Those are your power and signal cables. And this is the front half of the GoPro mount. It goes on with two screws, it's pretty straightforward to install. And these are the mounting arms that allow you to attach the gimbal to carbon fiber tube based landing gear. FuTech have also included a firmware upgrade cable and have told me that they're working on a software to allow for future firmware upgrades. That's pretty much what you get in the box, let's get to building. And here's the gimbal fully assembled. It's pretty easy to put together, there's maybe half a dozen parts in total so it doesn't take too much time as long as you follow the instructions. I got the orientation of the plates wrong, that was my own mistake because I didn't really look at the diagrams close enough. An interesting design feature of the FuTech gimbal is that there is no control board sandwiched between the two panels. FuTech have opted to build the board into one of the motors. The only issue you may encounter is mounting this thing because it's designed to go onto those carbon fiber tube based landing gear. So if you've got landing gear that are too big, too wide, you may have problems and you have to mod the gimbal to get it to mount properly. So it would be nice if they could give out different types of mounting arms for different types of multi-rotors. I do know that the newer versions of these kits are going out with phantom mounts as well. These are the three screws that hold the main arm and attach that to the top half of the plate, which then transfers all that weight down to the lower plate using these little vibration dampeners. So it's a pretty interesting design there. The lower plate has these two ports, the lower one's for power and the one on the top is for manual pitch control and firmware upgrades. There are two things I liked about this gimbal. First off, the size of the motors. They're huge and they have a lot of torque, so hopefully that will help when you're flying in windy conditions. And the next thing is, FuTech have included these two buttons that allow you to control pitch manually, so you don't really need to use a transmitter if you don't want to. That about wraps up our brief review and unboxing of the FY Tech gimbal. I hope you have found it of some use. Thanks for watching.